welcome to the latest update here from Mayfield Primary School. I'm sat down for this one. If I'm honest, I feel like one of the two Ronnies sat behind the desk reading the news. Uh, but I just want to share an update on the outcomes to our recent consultation questionnaire around wraparound provision and what we do moving forward. I've been very interested to know your views on what we can do around holidays, insect days, breakfast, after school uh, and how we can develop that provision. The first thing that you do as a head teacher is you ask. You ask what, what you guys think. What, what are your thoughts on what we can do? What do you need? How can it work? Uh, and thank you for all your thoughts and views. We've taken those, we've read those, we've analysed those and now we've got some thoughts to share with you on all of that. I've got them written down in front of me. So, the first thing is Breakfast Club and people have mentioned about Breakfast Club being really appreciated what we've been able to step in with early risers and do. Uh, just some thoughts people have had about could it open a little earlier, possibly from seven o'clock. Uh, so we're gonna have a look at that. Uh, I can't promise, uh, but I'm gonna have a look into that as to whether we could open earlier and how feasible uh, that is to do. But I'm gonna look into that because we've had some requests about a slightly earlier opening time. So I'm now looking into whether seven o'clock is possible. I'm not making a promise about seven o'clock, it's just whether uh, that's a possibility. But I will look into that now because we have had a few requests about that. Um, we asked about holidays and insect day provision, about whether something on offer within school during those times of closure would be useful and helpful. Uh, for working families, for families that are busy. Uh, the answer was an overwhelming yes. Could we set something up? So we're gonna have a little look now at holiday and inset day provision within school. That will be a project. Take some time to go over and we've got to make sure it works uh, and how we might do that. But we are going to look at holiday and inset day club style provision uh, moving forward. So stay tuned with that, we will be following that up in due course. Um, some people mentioned about the nature of holiday provision and whether it could be particularly sporting, like a sporting club, a sporting offer, or a range of sporting activities, very active in nature. So rather than just specific provision, can you offer something that's very active and sporty in its nature, Mr. Edden? So we're going to have a look at that as well within that holiday and inset day provision. Uh, and we're already talking to one or two people about how we might move that forward. So we will act upon those, but as ever, to make it work will take a little bit of time. But we will act upon those. People mention about after school provision, and there's one phrase that keeps coming back, that demand is greater than supply at the moment. And that, that's the message that we have. Obviously, uh, our friends at Mayfield Preschool offer the current after school provision, um, but there are more people wanting provision than are able to take available places right now. So that's something I need to look into is that demand outstripping supply. Uh, so I'm on with that now and I'll be talking to, to relevant people about how we can develop and enhance the supply so we can meet demand. Uh, which is and the last element that's come out is the one that we would all expect, which is around affordability. It's a thing in everybody's mind, isn't it? How affordable is any service that we would have? Uh, clearly, I'd already thought about anything uh, that we do offer and how we can make sure it's inclusive and everybody can access that provision. Uh, I've already got thoughts in my mind about how that can work. But yes, affordability will be central to this offer. How we can ensure that everybody has the chance to access what we're offering. Uh, the difficulty is, is that, if, I, if I'm perfectly honest, the government would want all schools to open as long as possible, to be as wraparound as possible, to offer as much as possible. But yet, I can tell you as a head teacher of, of long standing in more than one school, budgets in real terms are decreasing greatly. So in order to make what the government won't work, they want us to do it with less money. So therefore, I'm going to have to be very creative about how we go about putting models together. It certainly won't be the government that help us with that. It will be head teachers and school leaders that now have to go out there and make sure as ever that works. So I will do that, 
but, but that's never easy and there are no guarantees about that. But affordability is very much in my mind and you can see that with the number of things that we do across school, uniform, etc. Uh, affordability is very much in my mind. So we'll apply that to all uh, the work we do from here. So that's an overview uh, around the responses we've had to, to the wraparound consultation. We will now uh, action plan all that. We are already meeting and chatting with people about what we can do. We now just need some time to make this a reality, but we will make it a reality and we will act upon uh, the points highlighted. I suppose the one I've just got to weigh up is whether an earlier breakfast opening is something that I can do, but I will look into that as well and respond accordingly. Watch out for the monthly news. It will give a written summary of this and we'll also update you here via social media, via Mayfield TV uh, in the coming days, weeks and months as we move these ideas and thoughts forward. Thank you.